Now let's see how to connect these other systems to the domain. So currently we are logging on to these systems using a lo local login and password. But once we connect to the domain, we can use any user that are provisioned in the domain controller and log on to any workstation. So if you remember, we created two users called John and Raj. Let's use uh, John to log on to one of these systems. So first let's connect to the Windows 7 system. And if you click on the start menu, go to computer, right click on it, go to properties, go to change settings and um, you can join a domain using this particular button. So say it's a domain of xclaras.com and click OK and it is going to prompt you for a login name and password. So it says it cannot be contacted. Let's try with xclaras. Okay, so let's use the user John and the password is going to be whatever you used when you set up set up the accounts. Hopefully if this works, it will say welcome to the domain. Sometimes you may have issues and uh, if it happens, uh, we will try to resolve the issue. So the first time it always takes uh, some time to join the domain, but after that it should be pretty straightforward. Uh, but I think it could be an error. Okay, let's see the network path was not found. So let's see what's going on here. Sometimes um, this issue happens where uh, it is not able to find the DNS server, which is uh, in our case is the domain controller. So let's try something and see if it resolves the issue. So let's minimize this and go to settings and click on the network adapter. Actually you need to shut it down before you can do any changes. Let's shut down the system. So after it's shut down, go to file settings, click on the private adapter and click remove, click apply and um, just go to add uh, hardware again, go to network adapters, click add and pick private again. This is uh, not required in some cases, but sometimes um, I've seen this to work. So click OK. And now let's start the server or start the Windows 7 machine. Okay, we are still logging on with our local account. Okay, now we can see everything. So let's do the same steps again. Click on start, right click on computer, properties, go to change settings, change, click on the domain and type in xclaris.com. Click OK. And uh, John is the user. And uh, okay, it says the user's password must be changed before logging on first time. 
this is good news because uh, this is not the same error as before So it is complaining that again. So let's go check on the user in the domain controller. So let's go to the DC, connect to the system. So click on users and John, right click and say properties. So it's because of this setting. So let's uncheck this one. For now, click apply and say OK. And let's check the user Raj too. I think we did a good job here. So we already unchecked this box. So the user doesn't have to change the password. So after doing that, let's switch back to our Windows 7 box. Let's try this one more time. Okay, finally, we were able to join the domain, right? Uh, we had some hiccups. The reason I didn't try to delete those paths is to make sure that you may end up in the same scenario and you need to try, know to troubleshoot and uh, fix it. So in the next session, we will see how to join the Windows 10 system to the domain.